Wir looking crisp. Ja. Hallo, Shin. Wie geht's von Berlin? This is the BSBI Talks Podcast. Hello everyone, my name is Mo El Barraj. I'm a bachelor student here at BSBI and I will be your host for the fourth episode of the Student Vodcast. We are in our Altopost campus here in Berlin and today we have a wonderful guest that comes from the same country as I do. So this is going to be a very special episode for me and hopefully for all of you guys watching at home. Our guest today is Hadi. Hadi, tell us a little bit about yourself. How are you doing? How is your journey here to campus? Okay, so my name is Hadi Kleib. I'm 23 years old. I'm from Lebanon. I completed my bachelor's degree in uh, business administration and my concentration was in finance uh, at the American University of Beirut, which was a fully awarded scholarship from USAID. I've also worked uh, as a swing manager at McDonald's mm -hmm. for uh, six years. I've also worked as accounts payables lead officer Oh. at Facilitate, and this is my uh, fourth month here in Berlin. I'm studying Master's in Finance and Investments here at BSPI. Also, I'm working uh, in the Debt Collection Department at Grover GmbH, where I'm responsible for uh, allocating payments from bank transfers. As for hobbies, I'm a big football fan. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty excited for the Euros coming up here in Germany in the summer. Uh, I'll try my best to watch as many games as I can live from the stands. Okay, that's a very nice introduction. It's very interesting because I've focused on you introducing yourself and it seems like you're doing a lot of things in the span of four months. So it's uh, you're very experienced and uh, it's going to be a great episode. I'm very excited for this. We've created some questions for you and they range from your academic journey, your life in Berlin, your study experience here at BSBI, uh, how do you balance your work and studies, and so on. So we'll take a look at them sure. all together. Uh, so tell us about your academic journey. How did you find uh, about BSBI? How did you find out about BSBI? And what inspired you to pursue master's in finance and investment after finishing your bachelor's degree in business administration? Well, it was always my desire to continue my master's studies in Europe, and especially in Berlin, where it is one of the biggest, biggest uh, European cities and the capital of Germany. So I started searching for universities in Berlin, and BSBI popped up. So I looked up for the programs available in, uh, uh, in SPI and mm -hmm. I liked much the, the Master's in Finance and Investment because it's more related to calculations, uh, banking, finance, investments. And I, as I said, my concentration was in finance. Mm -hmm. So I chose uh, this program. Also, I liked the application process. The application process was very smooth, very simple, straightforward. My advisor helped me a lot uh, during my application, all the certificates, or the documents was uploaded successfully. And I got all the support until I reached Germany. I can relate to that. You know, it was the same uh, from my end when mm -hmm. I had to do my application process. It went smoothly. And uh, I'm very glad to be here uh, holding this same. student podcast with same. you. So let's talk about Berlin. Yep. Right. So what motivated you to move to Berlin? Like why Berlin specifically? And how has your tran transition been for the past four months? Because you've been here for four months. So how yeah. was it like? Um, this is my fourth month here in Berlin. Well, for me, Germany has one of the largest economies mm -hmm. uh, worldwide. Mm -hmm. And it is one uh, top one in Europe. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, it aligns with my future career goals, which is pursuing a finance career path. Mm -hmm. So... I chose Germany, mm -hmm. and also for me, I like challenges. Berlin mm -hmm. is a very big challenge, like moving to a new country, new language, new people, uh, new everything, mm -hmm. you know? So uh, it's a very big challenge to integrate within the society. Mm -hmm. Would you recommend that people should give it a go and try coming to Berlin and pursuing their dreams here? Yeah, why not? Berlin is a very big city, mm -hmm. very cultural city. You can see people from all over the world. I met people from Spain, Argentina, sure. and a more Arabic country also. <laughs> That's a common thing. That's yeah. correct, yeah. So, uh, speaking about Arabic countries, how different is Germany compared to Lebanon? Well, a huge difference. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Germany, um, you can see, and especially in Berlin, because mm -hmm. I'm here in Berlin, I don't mm -hmm. know much about other areas, uh, you can see there are many cultures. Sure. 
uh, you can, as I said, you can meet people from all over the world. But in my home country and our home country, mm-hmm. it's more limited to Arabic Arabic culture. Exactly. Um, also, uh, the public transportation in Berlin sure. is very effective. You can have many ways of transport. Uh, you have like the U-Bahn, S-Bahn, Tram, and uh, uh, the bus, mm-hmm. which is very good for students to to use these ways uh, of transport to reach the campus. Mm-hmm. Also, you can uh, go around in Berlin within only 30 minutes all sure. over Berlin. Yeah, yeah the, the public transport is very effective. You know? yeah. So I came to the campus today using the public transport. I, I'm sure you sure, did. Yeah. The <laughs> yeah. But talk to me about like the weather or the food. How yeah. different is it compared to Lebanon? Well, uh, starting with the weather, uh, the Lebanese weather is amazing compared to Germany. The weather in Germany is... uh, Hard to get used to. Hard to get used to, and it is changed a lot, like suddenly changed. Like Mm -hmm. the degree, the temperature can be like five degrees, Mm -hmm. suddenly it turns out to minus five degrees, Mm -hmm. you know? So, and also the Lebanese food, you you can't tell enough about the Lebanese exactly. food. It's, it's so good. Um, here yeah. in Germany, there's many cuisines, if we can mm-hmm. say. There, there's the Turkish, the French, mm-hmm. uh, also the German cuisine. Sure. Mm, so many cultures. You can, mm-hmm. the Indian also, the Japanese, the Chinese. So you can find many cuisines, but the Lebanese food is <laughs> limited to the Lebanese food. I see what you're saying. No, I, I, I completely agree. Uh, because especially if people are coming from their home country to Germany, I'm sure that they should be aware of things like that because Berlin again like you've mentioned it's a huge city right so obviously there's a lot more options Mm -hmm. maybe from Mm -hmm. your home country so it's something that you have to kind of get used to but it's also very interesting because they could give different cuisines a try or uh, different cultures a try uh, that they don't have abroad they just have it here in Berlin so it's a very interesting experience for them as well now You've talked about your application process, and I'm very glad that it went smoothly. Uh, talk to us about your orientation. How was your orientation event? Well, uh, the first orientation session was very nice and helpful. We did a campus tour, mm-hmm. and also we got the chance to meet most of the faculty members of PSBI. Uh, also, we did uh, we got the chance to visit many historical areas in Berlin, in Postama Platz, and it was a very amazing, uh, an amazing experience. Have you met a lot of students? Have you made a lot of friends? Um, yes, well, uh, I've met many people. They are so friendly. They want to get known to each other. Mm-hmm. So I get the chance to meet many people. Okay, that's very interesting. I'm glad that it was a friendly uh, environment. Are there any specific aspects of your program here at BSBI that you find valuable? Well, um, this is my first semester here in SPI, and I'm taking currently two courses. Mm-hmm. I find the corporate finance course uh, pretty exciting. Mm-hmm. It's more a diverse course, and it covers many important financial aspects. And also, I like much um, the t- trading thing. Mm-hmm. We do some trading in class, which wow. I always wanted to learn. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's very interesting. You can always learn something new here in Berlin, mm-hmm. especially at VSBI. Uh, talking about trading... Um, and your course here. You've been here for four months and you've already landed a job. So for all of the viewers or all of the people wondering, um, how hard is it to balance between your program and studying and your part-time job? At first, for any student, it could be quite uh, quite challenging. Mm-hmm. But for me, as I mentioned, I uh, already worked during my bachelor years. So I'm, get, uh, I'm used to the work-study life. So... Mm-hmm. I uh, used to work on a full-time basis with, uh, within my bachelor degrees, so I'm uh, committed to these both uh, responsibilities now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it sh- it should take some time, but you will get used to it. And for all of the people who are debating whether or not they should come to Berlin for opportunities, whether it's educational or because obviously you can learn a lot uh, by studying here at PSBI, but a lot of students want to get hands-on experience with working. Was it difficult to uh, land the job, or do you think there's a lot of opportunities, there's something for everyone here in Berlin? Well, as I said, Berlin is a very cultural city. Mm-hmm. You can, like, as you can find many people, you can find many jobs. And uh, for any student worrying about speaking German, you don't need to speak German to land a job in Berlin. Like in my company where I'm working, I don't need to speak, to speak German, 
I speak in English. Uh, you can man- find many jobs in Spanish. You know, people who are working speaking only Spanish, only English. And if you have uh, the German skills to speak, you, you will find easily a job. Mm-hmm. Have you had the chance to apply for the BSBI German course? Because they do provide German language courses. So have you had the chance to apply for one of those? Well, I got the chance, but at first I was... Uh, bit in a rush with mm-hmm. uh, the interviews and uh, things and for my job. So I'm uh, pretty excited to uh, to register in the next semester, hopefully, in the A1 level, I guess. Well, speaking from experience, because I've already registered, it's well worth your while. I think it's very yeah. interesting as well. And I think it's a very good service that they provide for sure. um, their students. Talk to me about your routine, because we've clearly discussed the fact that you've been here for four months. Uh, you have a job, obviously you're doing master's here at BSBI. What's your routine looking like on a day-to-day basis? Well, uh, for me, uh, as always from my bachelor degrees uh, era, if we can say, mm-hmm. I uh, develop a daily and weekly schedule. I mention specific time blocks for work, study, personal activities. I stuck, I stick to uh, the to the schedule and it become for me a routine. Mm-hmm. So it helped me a lot to manage my time effectively. Okay, that's very interesting, you know. Uh, I find it also challenging to balance between everything. So it's always like a question that I've asked multiple people that I know that work here in Berlin. So we have the routine down. Uh, We have the education down, obviously. And we have your hands-on experience when it comes to um, finding a job here in Berlin. What's your future goal looking like? How are you planning on using the experience that you're getting while studying as well as working mm-hmm. part-time for your future career? Well, uh, in, the near, in the near future, um, like as, to be more specific, this year I'm planning to reach B1 level in German, which is sufficient for the German market to find a job later. And hopefully after finishing my master's degree, I'm planning uh, to go for a financial analyst, analyst position uh, because I've worked enough in hospitality and management, accounts receivables, accounts payables. So I'm ready for a new challenge now. Also, if I got the opportunity to work in the banking field, I would go for a position in investment investment banking, for example. That's very interesting. You know, you're, you're aiming high and I believe that you can do it. Nothing is possible, impossible here in Berlin. Uh, for all of the people that again, are hesitant of leaving their home country because, um, you know, of superstition or they're scared or they're worried, what advice would you give people who are looking for new experiences? Would you recommend Berlin as a top destination? Well, surely I I would recommend Berlin, but a message for the student, just trust yourself, trust the process, know what you are coming for. Mm -hmm. It's a very big challenge, but you can do it. Know that uh, you have your parents and your home country waiting for you and you are uh, waiting to make them proud. Thank you so much, Hadi, for sharing your experience about Berlin. This concludes our fourth episode of the Student Vodcast. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button and comment your suggestions for the next Student Vodcasts. Thank you so much for watching.